So one thing I forgot with this is... Good lord. Oh, I hate to give you credit because that blade trick is just an amazing... I'm gonna show you a trick on how you know when your salmon is getting perfectly done and the point you're about to overcook it so you know when to take it off. This is where it gets sketchy. Welcome to Whiskey and Barbecue. I'm Ryan, that's Evan. Today we're cooking. Running joke in the house is I don't use a lot of butter when I'm cooking. Michelle oftentimes replaces water with butter and sometimes cook time with butter. So I married her. Yeah, you did. Mm. For this cook, I'm going to be doing a butter roasted salmon. First thing we're going to do, 13 by 9 ish heavy duty metal pan. And we're going to throw in three sticks of butter. Oh, no kidding. No kidding. My wife's going to love you. I told you. This is unsalted butter. Unsalted butter is typically what you want to use whenever you're doing stuff like this. So you can more accurately control the salt, the salt content going into your food. And we're going to get this melted. Well, that's two fishes. Well, sort of. So whenever you get salmon, especially, what you want to do is you see the line here mm -hmm. where the muscle fibers come together, and especially this line, mm -hmm. you want to run your finger right through that line going this direction because what you can be doing is if there's any pin bones in it any spinal bones anything like that any rib bones that's where you're going to feel it really yep you can see like the little holes where they pull them out yeah that's where they are cool no bones whenever you're portioning out fish i do one blades width portion that out the first time we're just kind of cleaning it up then you go up continue to go out I hate to be the person that interrupts you, but also I hate to give you credit because that blade trick is just an amazing <laughs> tip. We're gonna do a real simple seasoning on this. So, simple shaker, it's three parts, coarse ground pepper, 16-ish mesh, coarse kosher salt, two parts, and one part granulated garlic. That's it, three, two, one, pepper, salt, garlic. We have butter on here that's rendering down. You can hear the butter start to kind of fry, get kind of bubbly inside of there. It's the sound you're listening for. We have three sticks of butter in there. You're gonna take about two tablespoons of minced garlic. Put that in and mix it around. Let that melt down. We're gonna get the butter up to temperature. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by putting the fish meat side down. We're gonna get a nice butter fry on the top of it. It's gonna go for about three minutes, meat side down, then we're gonna rotate it to skin side down, let the skin take a lot of that abuse to cook it all the way through. I'm gonna show you a trick on how you know when your salmon is getting perfectly done and the point you're about to overcook it so you know when to take it off. Sounds like it's making yeah, noise. Yeah, hear the butter starting yeah. bubbling in the pan, that's with the garlic in there, so the garlic's starting to fry. Now, this is where it gets sketchy. Pull your pan to the front and take your salmon pieces and put them meat side down. This is also really great if you have friends that like doing cedar plank salmon and their wives like using butter and they keep setting things on fire. It's probably gonna go about five or six minutes. So with the fish, you can zoom in and see, you'll see how it's starting to turn white as it's going up. What that means is the temperature is getting good enough that it's starting to get the outside done. So what we wanna do now is gently, use with a spatula, roll it over where it's now skin side down. This just becomes fall apart tender. Those will go for another three to five minutes. We'll do a quick taste test because once they come out, you got to do them immediately because they have nice buttery flavor. They're going to be amazing. The salmon has been going for about... Salmon's been going for about 15 or 20 minutes. You'll see how the butter is starting to kind of brown up. The thing you really want to pay attention to is you see how some of the fat is just now starting to come out of these. That's your last ditch effort before you know that you're overcooking salmon. That's whenever it's starting to get dry out, it's gonna start falling apart. You don't wanna to go too far past that. But the little white stuff coming out, it's ex when it's exactly and perfectly done. You we'll take these out. One thing I forgot with this is about a half a squeeze of lemon. You can put that inside the butter itself or squeeze just a little bit on the top. Over here, they're not a huge fan of the acid and the citrus, so I kind of left it out. But I love it whenever I'm doing this for myself. Okay. Look at the tenderness on that. That just... Oh. <laughs> Pick it up with a fork. 
Oh yeah. No fish taste. And no real butter taste either. Uh -oh. It's just a nice, clean salmon flavor. You get the garlic, the salt, the pepper. It is. That's. But it's not. I mean, I know you're thinking like, oh, it's be super buttery. It's really not. Hmm. It's good. Just nice and clean. Yeah. And super tender. I would say clean is an is an optimal word for that. When you get something that you can chow down on, you can stuff yourself, but you don't have that overly heavy feeling where you're just like, oh my goodness, I did. But you're like, oh, wow, that was good. You good? Mm. Mm. You need some more? Mm -hmm. Until next time, burn to learn. Feel free to hit us up, by the way. We love our website. Whiskeyandbarbecue.com. No E. And whiskey. Or and. <laughs> really? I don't know. <laughs> All right. We'll see y'all later. Or BBQ. Right. Or dot. Or com. Cheers, y'all. You know what? There's just no ease anywhere. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>